Jane, and uh, next we have Riwa. Uh, she is uh, she runs Sukoon Magazine. You guys should check it out, and she'll say more about herself when she comes up. Everybody, give her like a warm round of applause. Thank you. Speaking of tabule. <laughs> Hi everyone, um, my name is Riwa Zinati. I just moved to uh, Dearborn literally two months ago. And uh, I um, was living in Lebanon before that. Who's from Lebanon? Or has any attachment? Okay. Nice. <laughs> Surprising. <laughs> so, um, it's good to be here. I am very excited to meet Wissam and Yasmin and everybody. And uh, I'm a poet and writer, and I also run Sukun Magazine. You can find it online, sukunmag.com. It is an Arab-themed literary magazine in English. Basically, I wanted to kind of um, create a platform for Anglophone Arab writers. I don't think we have enough of those, and I felt like uh, we have a voice, and uh, we're doing pretty good. So check it out. Right. I have two poems I can share with you today. Um, just don't know which one yet. So no, I will share two, but I, <laughs> I have three. I just have to choose two out of three. Anyway. anyway. Speaking of tabule, there was a reason I said that, was um, I wrote this poem, it's called Permanent Resident. I wrote this poem like 13 years ago, 14 years ago. I was living in the US a very long time ago, immigrated, then went back closer to home to Lebanon and Dubai, and now I'm back. So this particular poem you know, has been revised and written and finally found a home in a literary magazine called Prairie Schooner, so I'm very happy about that. It's one of the oldest. Um, magazines. So I'll start with this one, Permanent Resident. America welcomes me with open bags and lots of searching and airport questions like, who packed these bags, ma'am, and was anyone in the room with you when you packed? And expects me to say, just me, and yes, I know exactly what's in each bag, and I know that seeds from another country are not allowed, and that zatar, summa, and yansun, which also means they forget, are things that I remember. So I pack and sneak them in because I know they will not grow. And I know that olives taste different here, so I go to Global Foods on Lindbergh to find the ones that come in cans, all cracked and sour with salt and lemon leaves. And I walk to the aisle where I find my flag with the evergreen tree in the middle. And I walk through the aisle where I find Amar al-Din and Mawarid with a picture of a rose on the bottom to the frozen food section to find my bread, and to the dairy fridge to look for some lebne, that dried yogurt everyone likes to call Greek and everyone likes to call exotic, and I think about the word exotic, and I taste it in my mouth, my tongue bitter and starved, for the tang of cardamom in my coffee and pine seeds and my rice and the sizzle and stink of a thousand garlic cloves mashed and mixed and forgotten at the very bottom of a large cooking pot. Thank you. That was it.